What is up guys it's the real deal back with another array challenge video and today we are going to be doing a live arena um so so far i'm absolutely loving it it is really really fun and um, your win ratio will definitely drop if you like you know classic arena you may be getting 95 percent win rate um in live arena it's going to drop to like 75 or even 50 percent it is a lot lot harder and you can't cherry pick who you're going up against um but it's still really really fun and I will go through the do's and don'ts with you and we're going to watch some recaps and how you get those important wins. Okay, so we're just searching for an opponent. Um, I do want to say there is a little bit of lag at the moment, which does sort of ruin the flow of the game, but I'm sure they'll sort that out when this goes live. Um, so this is like the most important phase. Um, and what I do is I love to open with an Arbiter. Um, better options would be like Cifi, um or Duchess. You know, they bring more to the table. I don't have those champions, so that's why I'm sort of opening with, um, with an Arbiter. Speed is still really good for the meta, but obviously they can count it quite easily with a go second team. Um, but yeah, so usually I open up with an Arbiter, and uh, it doesn't really reveal too much what I'm going to be doing. Then um, I'll lead with um, Hedgy to make sure that I get to go first. Um, and then I'll bring in... Either I'll show you my two nukers, which will always be Leores and Hepfrek. They are my best nukers. And you want to bring your best nukers. Um, and the reason I'm using those nukers is that not only do they do a lot of damage, but they've got great survivability. And survivability is really key um, to surviving this and be able to turn around and drop the enemy team. Um, so they've picked um, Uko. is a really strong champion as well. I'm seeing Uko everywhere right now. Um, they bring so much to the table. But yeah, and also he's got Candrafon, Duchess, and Sifi. Those are meta right now. I'm just seeing them all over the place. And for good reason, they are very strong. But um, Uko is a really solid champion. If you've got Uko, I'd definitely be using them. Because um, they bring... You want champions that are going to bring more than one thing. So Uko is bringing a strip, block debuffs, decrease attack. And they also have a revive as well, which puts block damage on the team. So when they get revived, you know... If they haven't got a strip or they've already stripped, you know, they're not going to be able to do anything for, to you and you're going to be able to get another turn in and just drop their team. So Uko, super, super strong right now. I definitely should be using him more, to be honest. Um, but yeah, so I brought in Romantu here because I know Romantu can screw over Rotos and Sifi and Duchess's passives uh, and also has a strip as well. So I wanted to strip um, Duchess's uh, stone skin. Unfortunately, we didn't get it though. So now Lioris is coming in hard with his A3. Didn't quite uh, kill everyone. So, okay, so Arbiter, we are doing our A2. We're, no, sorry, we're going to go in for A1 and we're going to focus down uh, Candrafron. I want to push Candrafron, Candrafron's uh, turn meter back just a little bit, um, just so we get a turn. So this is a big mistake by the enemy right there. They should, Roto should have taken out my Liores with his A3 um, and then taken out Arbiter. But um, that's fine. That's, that works in my favor. Um, but yeah, there's definitely some things I could have done better here. I probably should have brought in Uko instead of Romantu. Um, and that would have been really hard for the enemy because they have to choose them between banning Hepfrek or Uko. And they're both really strong champions. So, you know. You ban Hep Hepfrek, who can just drop Rotos, Sifi, and Duchess easily. Or do you ban Uko, who's going to basically revive everyone, and then they get another turn as well. So, all on Liora's shoulder. He came in with A2, he went big, and he carried us there. Uh, so, we've been promoted to Bronze 2. Um, so, let's see what we're up against now. We're up against DJ. Guessing from a Czech clan. Okay, so they're picking first. And I'm going to go with the same strategy again. Um, I'm going to be going with Arbiter and Hegemon first. That is my sort of go-to. This is what I like to open with, to be honest. Um, and then see how they respond to that. Um, but yeah, again, someone's bringing in Duchess. And she is so common. She is a very common first pick. I really like the Gaius pick from them. Because if I don't have someone that can cleanse then I'm going to be in big trouble. Um, and also, right now, I've only got one... 
I don't have a nuker on the table, so it sort of screwed me over a little bit actually. Um, because they could bring another bomb champion, and then I'm really in trouble. Um, because then I've only got one nuker, they can ban that nuker out. Um, but yeah, this is pretty much though where you win the fight. The picking phase and the ban phase is the most important part of this. This is where the fight is won. Um, and we're going to go with Hepfrek again. But yeah, I think just having a little bit think about is there someone else I want to bring? Because they've got Candrophon. I was thinking, do I have like any spirit nukers that I'd want to bring? But I don't really have that many spirit nukers on my account that I've got geared and leveled up. Um, so we're going to ban Uko again. Um, it was a tough decision. Um, I've also seen a lot of Ultimate Death Knight as well, and he can really be a pain. Um, I'm sure, as you guys know, um, you know, being able to, you know, bring, it is another champion that brings a lot to the table. Um, those single way ones are going to get blocked. He's healing us, and he throws out provokes as well. Really nasty champion to go up against. Okay, so we're going to open up with the A3 from Liores. And we're just waiting for them. Okay, so Duchess is uh, throwing up buffs. We're going to hold on to A2. There's no point in using it just yet. So just throw out the A1. Okay, waiting for Candrophon. Okay, he's coming in with the A2. We've just dropped him with Liores. And then Hepfrex come in with, the, uh, with his passive. Procked his A2 and just slammed the enemy team. Um, yeah, I think if you see a Hepfrek in Arena, he's definitely one of those champions that you just feel that you have to just ban. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to skip ahead because no, it's going to be, it's just going to stall the fight a little bit with um, Ultimate Death Knight. And here we go. Coming in big with Hepfrek again, and he's just going to finish off the fight for us. And there we go. Easy, easy. On to fight number three. Um, so Dragon, Lost Legion of Macab. Okay, so they're picking first again. Let's see what they uh, what they're bringing to the table. They're opening up with an Arbiter, and yet we're going for the same strat again. We're going Arbiter. We're going Hedgy. And okay, so they've gone for Siffy and Trunda. Um, Trunda. Still like a really good pick, um, but she does sort of, she's not as strong as she used to be, but she does have that survivability. She is quite tanky, um, but yeah, she's not as good as Liores or Hepfrek though. And let's see what else they've got. Oh, he is taking his time. I definitely think uh, they should drop this. Uh, Choosing phase to about 30 seconds, a minute's quite long, and he's taking his sweet time. Okay, Necred and Warlord. So it's a real tough one. I mean, this guy has got some of the best champions in the game. Um, I wish I had a Necred, I wish I had Warlord. You have to ban Warlord though, just because he can go through Stone Skin. And what I've done here as well is I've brought in a Foley who's in Stone Skin as well. So I don't think they're going to be expecting that. And uh, we're going to choose Liores because he's got a 24% crit rate buff. Not really going to help, but it'll help a little bit. Um, but yeah, but we've got three nukers. We are going to tear through that net cred with no problem. So uh, this guy's account looks a little bit of a weaker one, though, because his uh, net cred's not in stone skin for some reason. So it does make the fight a little bit easier. Uh, but yeah, we've thrown out the um, A2 from Hedgy, locking out the team. Okay, he's boosting. Trunda's going to come in, and that's going to not work in their favor. And um, yeah, we just dropped two of their. Okay, we're dropping the whole team with Hepfreg and Liores with counterattacks. And then um, Sifi's going to get dropped by Foley. And that is game set and match, my friend. Okay, another easy win. Uh, let's skip to the next one. Okay, so fight number four. Uh, okay, Hepax. And they're going first. <laughs> and we've already got our uh, trigger finger on Arb. 
Um, but yeah, there's definitely ways you can scale this back as well. Um, so, for example, uh, Lady Kimmy would be a good champion to bring if you're, you know, Arbit if you don't have Arbiter, you know, you're probably going to have um, Hikatoon. But if you're bringing Hikatoon, you probably want a second speed champion because they block out your Arbiter. You probably won't get to go first. And that's going to completely screw you over. Uh, so I've brought in Baron, hard hitting champion right here. Um, yeah, really, really. Yeah, he is a top three uh, arena champion right now. Just an absolute killing machine. So he's brought in Ultimate Death Knight and Duchess as well. That's going to be really difficult to handle. Um, so standard, again, Hepfrek and Liores again. And let's see, what are they going to bring to the table? And what am I thinking? I'm probably going to, it's between Romantu and Helicath that I'm thinking of bringing in. Um, Romantu, because of that strip and that block passives. But then also Helicath is so good for survivability with that block damage. Um, so he's got no strippers on his team, so I do think I'll bring in Helicath. Um, but they got Lydia and Krisk as well. Krisk is really annoying. Um, but I think I'm going to block out Baron, um, because that means I don't have a damage dealer. So, yeah, hopefully we should be able to get the win with um, Hepfrek and Liores, both nuking away. Just depends on how their champions are built. Okay, so they're in a bolster set. Okay, open up with that A3, uh, A2 with Hedgy. Boost that turn meter. We're going to open up with... No. So I decided to go A1 on Krisk. Because um, I wanted to um, have Duchess and Lydia sleep for another turn. Unfortunately, my A1 woke up. Um, Lydia got really unlucky there. And it also means that they've thrown out Strengthen as well. A little bit annoying. Um, so Hepfrex is going to come in next. I'll be honest though, I don't think we've got enough damage to deal with this. You know, they've got Strengthen. They've got um, <laughs> um, Strengthen. They've got the Shield from Krisk. And then Duchess has also got that reduce AoE damage by, I think it's 20% on her passive. Um, so I don't think I've got enough damage to deal with it, to be honest. Um, so this might actually end up being a loss. Okay. Oh, I just hate this as well. Like it, I, I really do enjoy this, but it's just a bit, oh, it's just a bit slow. Just ruin, ruining the flow. All right, so we're going to come in with the A3 from Liores. Uh, And hopefully he kills our champion so um, Hefret can get a turn. So Hefret comes in and he's not killed anyone. He's not done enough damage, uh, which is a little bit frustrating. Okay, so they're definitely going to be reviving with Duchess when they get a turn. Okay, A1 coming hard on Duchess. Going to push back the term ER with Hedgy. Okay. He's just revived the whole team. Um, our A1's locked out on Arb. This is definitely going to be a loss. Um, yeah. And it's all down. It's all down to Hepfrek. Uh, he's got no A1. Uh, so his, his A2's on cooldown. Um, this is going to be a hard, hard L. Yeah, there we go. Sorry, lads. Can't win them all. But there's some things we learned there. Um, definitely just thinking about what, what could we have done to have done better. Definitely feel like bringing in Uko would have been a much better choice. Um, being able to block debuffs would have been so strong right there. Um, would have stopped all that strength and, um, and the shield from Krisk as well. Um, and yeah, I think that would have definitely made it an easier fight. So yeah, next time, definitely... We'll just switch it up and bring in Uko. Um, so let's go to fight number five. So 
So I've skipped ahead for number five. Um, and this guy has done something really interesting. Um, he's brought in Valkyrie and he's got no nucleus at the moment. But you can tell that Valkyrie is definitely built for damage because of Soul Reaper. Um, but I really like it. It's an interesting pick. And if your enemy is not really paying attention, that's quite a nice pick. Um, but yeah, and I've decided to go for three nukers this time. Um, and I've brought in my Rotos as well. So he can do some big boy damage for us. Um, but yeah, and they've brought in Warlord. It's gonna, you're going to have to ban that Warlord. If someone brings Warlord or Yumiko, they are going to have to be your first choice to ban. If you've got them, that is going to make fights so much easier for you because you know that that is what they're going to have to ban. They can't ignore those choices. That means you can pretty much always bring in four solid champions who you know work well together and you should always get the win with that. Yeah, so I had to ban out Warlord. We're going to open up with the A2 with Hedgy, like always. And the good thing about this as well, they've got nothing to deal with Leores, so they can't just kill him straight away. And we got lucky, we locked out um, Arbiter's um, A, well, uh, Valkyrie's locked out, so she's not going to be able to bring counter-attack and big fat shields. Okay, so yeah, they managed to get one, one uh, stone skin off. Siffy's going to put Rotos to sleep. Lyris is going to pop off with some counterattacks and Hebfrek as well. And Lyris is going to come in with the A3, big smacks. Uh, didn't quite kill anyone. It's going to push back um, Siffy's turn meter. Okay, so they're going to push our turn meter back with um, Arbiter. Just waiting for Valk. Okay, Valk's going to go ham on, on Lyris. Lyoris is going to turn around and smack back and just waiting for Hepafrek to get his turn and he will drop the enemy team no problem. This is going to be so easy. Okay, here we go. Almost got the whole team and uh, Roto's coming in with the A3. Big hit, 61k. Sit down, my friend. Take a seat. That's the end of the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave me a cheeky thumbs up. Make sure you smash, smash, smash that subscribe for more weekly content. And I'll catch you in my next video. Peace.